I'm back. Uh, I guess the internet went wonky and my last live sort of died <laughs> just as I was seeing all of my friends logging on. So I hope, I hope you can see me now, but oh my gosh, the, the view of the Bay of Lisbon is like beyond belief, like one of the most beautiful things you'll ever see when we were coming over the bridge. Um, and, and I saw Lisbon for the first time because my, my neighbor, I wasn't sitting next to Dave, Devin, I was sitting next to a lovely woman named Lucia from Brazil who lives in, in Portugal now. And she woke me up so that I could see the bay with the boats and Lisbon. And it's so beautiful. And it's, it's hilly like San Francisco, but San Francisco, if San Francisco was dreamed up by Jane Austen. So it's got that very sort of bath, English countryside, 19th century beauty with the hills. And it's just so dang pretty. And, and the sidewalks are made of marble, which has me a little nervous because I'm worried I'm going to slip. But the stones are really small, so I haven't slipped. Uh, I just can't wait to explore it. Um, really beautiful and I hope you saw I posted one of the the dance things in Seville last night but I think we videoed two or three of them and a girl singing beautifully um, we were really lucky in Seville that uh, I just chanced upon a festival that was celebrating all the different regions of Spain as if to taunt and torture us for all the stuff we were missing um, but you know Every place we go, I hate to say goodbye. And, and then the next place is just wonderful, and I'll hate to say goodbye to Lisbon, too. So anyway, I'm really hoping that I'll get to see Marsha today before she heads to Rome um, tomorrow, and then we'll see her on the 17th. And I just I want to I wanna hear about her Lisbon experience and how she chose Lisbon to be her her new adventure to live here because like I want to do that and at the same time I hate moving and I've got like some anxiety about uh, social life in a foreign country where I don't speak the language so I'm just curious about that stuff oh hi Marcia <laughs> just talking about you um, yeah, I really want to hear about what that's like because that's been a dream of mine for a long time. It's like I don't want to give up Long Beach, but I also want to live in the world, you know, be part of the world more. And being anywhere in Europe is so close to so much. And being in different cultures, I think just it grows you and it changes you. And it's, um, I think it might also be really hard. Uh, but all this beauty certainly helps. So, um, yeah, I want to learn more about what it is to be an expat out here in Europe, to be an expat, period. Um, you know, I'm the girl who just hates to say goodbye to anything. But I keep wanting to stay wherever I am. Uh, Marcia says that living abroad. She loves it and it's easy. I can't wait to hear more. So that's my check-in for today, which is, I think, day 21. Day 20 or 21, I'm like totally losing track of how many days we are into my 30 days of love. We're flying home on the 23rd. Today is the 13th. So we have like sort of 10 days. It feels like forever. This has felt like a really long trip because we've done so much and moved so much. And, and, and I can't believe that there's still a third part <laughs> to go. And I'm glad that we're spending a little more time in the places left. Like we have to come back and do Barcelona right. And, catch a lot of places we missed but I really am glad that we're going to have a little bit of time to just park here in Lisbon and be in Lisbon and not even have to do anything in Lisbon all the time right 
and and then the same in Porto, which I know nothing about. I just keep hearing how great it is. And um, today we discovered Portuguese food. Like I didn't know anything about Spanish food except paella because my mother used to make that. I knew French food, but I just really, also last time I came to Spain, I was probably in one of my neurotic food periods where maybe I was vegetarian, which is really hard in Spain in 1992, less hard now, but still like you're giving up most of, you know, the national cuisine. And so Portugal, again, like I don't know Portuguese food, but we went to this place called Time Out, which was described to us by our Airbnb host that like the best chefs, Michelin rated chefs, like all these really great chefs um, based in Portugal can own, they can only have a booth at this market if they're invited. And so everything there is incredibly gourmet, delicious, wonderful. And I had a duck risotto, which was fantastic. Devin had a traditional um, Portuguese style beef sandwich, which was also fantastic. It was way too much food. <laughs> and so <laughs> whenever I can't finish, I just give it to Devin. But it was so good. And that's, that's such a, I'm so glad that uh, I allow myself to eat anything. And again, you know, you just eat anything in moderation is so much healthier than, than hating yourself. Uh, obviously, if you have a food intolerance, be kind to yourself and don't do what makes your body feel bad. But also, you know, allow yourself to live and enjoy having a body and, and love your body whatever it looks like, just embrace that you are beauty. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.